Hi, this is your host Sapin Bhartia and welcome to 2023 prediction series. And today we have with us once again, Arif Khan, founder and CEO of Courage. Arif, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Sapnil. And uh, yes, first of all, Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year to you as well. Now, uh, of course, I'm going to ask you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions. But before that, what is Courage all about? We want to accelerate the edge moment. And edge moment, when I say that there are a lot of future use cases and of course when we started it was future but those edge cases is now uh, happening now uh, be it in telecom be it in uh, utility energy all this transformation is happening today and and with with uh, accelerating those uh, innovation accelerating these use cases uh, we are working from the tech side of it now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for us i want to start uh, with a uh, of course, the trends, what's going on in the world. And my prediction is pretty much around those uh, trends. So I, I will give my prediction, but of course, I will a little bit talk around the trends, what we are seeing. So the first prediction is around the sovereignty. And and we all know that uh, the current geopolitical situation, uh, especially what happened with the, uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia and the impact of tech companies and the dependency. So now, Everybody, every government, every big enterprises, they are looking uh, sovereignty with a different glasses. Uh, if we talk about uh, maybe one year or two years back, uh, people were happy that if the data is in their country, uh, they are good. But uh, now people are taking sovereignty much more seriously and taking it to the next level, whether those data which are there in their country, even that is usable. And, and, and I can clearly see a uh, lot of policy making is happening across the globe. EU is investing heavily on this. India is working very hard on that everywhere, Japan. So sovereignty will be the uh, one of the, uh, even as a market, as a from the business side also, uh, it will evolve as one of the opportunity uh, which uh, ecosystem can leverage. But uh, sovereignty is just not about the data. Sovereignty. So first of all, uh, sovereignty is a freedom, right? So now uh, people and policymakers are seeing how that can, they can be operational sovereignty, uh, even from the software side, how they can be, because their roadmap, their progress cannot be dependent on a company, uh, other company roadmap, which is very, very far. So, uh, and of course, to enable the sovereignty, uh, sovereign cloud is going to be the first thing which is going to enable these uh, use cases. Again, sovereign cloud is not just uh, restricted to the public cloud opportunity, uh, even the uh, even the sovereignty from the network, edge, everything will come into the play. So the first prediction is uh, there will be huge uh, market focus and even from the policy and big enterprises around the sovereign cloud. Uh, so that we will see. Second prediction is also dependent on the trends uh, which we have already seen. So uh, people started their cloud journey a few years back and, and they were happy, but then suddenly they realized that uh, some of these uh, cool features are coming from one vendors and, and, and some features are coming from other vendors. Even the top uh, CIOs, they don't want to put their all eggs in one basket. So a lot of adoption happened like last year uh, around the multi-cloud strategy. And even if you speak to the top uh, 100 CIOs across the world, uh, multi-cloud was pretty much on their top charter. So, uh, but, 20, but 2023 is the year uh, because now we are seeing the impact uh, globally, how, how the economy is turning around. And managing this uh, multi-cloud is not easy uh, to have so many uh, skilled resources with different technology, uh, with different CI/CD processes, uh, it's very very expensive. So 2023, I think, uh, will be the year where enterprise telcos and all big uh, companies will be looking uh, on multi-cloud management is one of the uh, key prediction, and and that's I'm sure uh, we will be seeing uh, seeing a lot of traction. And third, but not uh, uh, yeah, uh, third is like third prediction is the last prediction which I want to do. And 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 when when I did this session with you last year, we talked about 5G. We talked about these future uh, use cases. 
uh, which is whether it is augmented reality or drones or whatever uh, these use cases. So I think now with a 5G rollout across the globe, uh, be it in US, uh, European Union, and even, uh, even in India, we can see this rollout is happening. And that's actually enabling these use cases. So 2023, I will clearly see that the initial deployment of these future edge enabled uh, use cases uh, across the industry will start it to roll out. And, and uh, yeah, that was my third prediction. It will start coming into production. Thanks for sharing these predictions with us. If I ask you, what is going to be the focus of the company this year? When I started uh, the whole uh, single line uh, uh, tagline we used was accelerating the edge moment. So from the, uh, from the company uh, side of it, uh, we actually want to be part of this whole uh, transformation which is happening and we are lucky that this transformation is happening in front of us right now. So we will continue to work on the tech which is enabling this transformation. And I think we will continue doing that. You did touch upon that when you're sharing your predictions, but I do want to have, you know, a kind of summarized view is uh, what are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023 and how you feel that Courage will be positioned to help some of your customers to kind of navigate through these challenges? So, Swapnil, there are two uh, aspects of this answer which I want to take. Uh, first, when I gave my first prediction, uh, we talk about the geopolitical situation. And I clearly see this geopolitical situation uh, will play a major role. It will get uh, worse or even improve, I don't know. Uh, but it has an impact uh, o overall as a challenge because it's creating a, you know, uh, the kind of untrust in the ecosystem and uh, how do we handle these. So that's, that's one of the challenges which I'm clearly seeing and it's also impacting the tech ecosystem as well. But second is uh, the whole world we are already seeing uh, is going from the downturn uh, in the whole economy scenarios which we are seeing uh, and, and, and kind of layoffs news which we are see seeing everywhere. So I feel that every enterprise has, has a pressure uh, to optimize cost. And, and I think uh, cloud DevOps, cloud native, these are the technology which will help uh, companies to optimize their costs to best deliver the same value with the less money they, they are going to spend. And, and uh, as you know that we are working pretty much around this whole uh, edge story, whole cloud native story. So that way, I, we feel uh, within a core edge that uh, we are going to deliver a value uh, from our tech, from our services. Uh, that will make them uh, cost optimized in their offering. And that we will continue to do. Arif, thank you so much for taking time out today. And uh, of course, share these predictions, uh, the challenges that are there and how Core Edge is well positioned to help customers. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Swapnil.